Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back again with another video. So this video, the background is different. If you did not know, I moved. Well, I'm sure y'all did know because I haven't posted a video in a while as per usual. And I always say I'm gonna get back to it and I'll be lying. But I got more videos to post, so maybe I'll be back. Don't hold me to that. So today I'll be telling you guys about the absolute worst roommate I had. Well, not I'm gonna say worst roommating year that I had because I don't had a year where I don't had another bad roommate, but these two roommates this year, the icing on the cake. The icing on the cake. And also, if y'all see my tongue is green, I be eating popsicles. Thank you guys, without further ado, let's get into this story. Okay, so I lived, if y'all see my move in day, I lived in MTI um, this year, and this is my first time living off campus, and I, this is the worst year as well. So I didn't like the apartment I stayed in for one, and I did not like my two roommates that I had. I lived in both MTIs, it's the MTI one, and it's the MTI two, which is at the back. So the first MTI was the first one I stayed in, which was the first roommate problem I had as well. So let's see, I'm gonna give my roommate a nickname. I'm gonna just nickname her Mia. So that's what we are gonna call my roommate. We are gonna call her Mia, right? So, MTI, when I moved in, you know, I had no problems. The landlord, she gave me a roommate because this is student housing. So my roommate, I mean, so this is student housing. So my landlord, she picked out my roommate. I'm like, cool, bet. She's like, oh, I think you're going to get along with this girl. You're going to like her because y'all from the same area. Keep in mind, she from Mansville. And I, I grew up in Waxahachie, though. But, you know, I'm from, like, the Waxahachie area. And she grew up in Mansville. I was like, mm not really but you know you someone in the dallas area so maybe we'll get along good when i first met me you know she was real cool real nice she helped me move up and all of that like we had no problems we was good so like after a week i started noticing mia was like 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 kind of really really friendly and i was just like you know that's a little weird like when i would come home she would no when i would be at home when I would be at home, she would leave her door open all day. And it's just like, roommates really don't do that, you know, unless y'all like cool, cool. But we wasn't that cool, but that's not a problem. So she would leave her door open all day. And I would just kind of be like, I wouldn't really bother her, but her door would just be open. So I would like try to be more cautious, you know, and not make too much noise or like, you know, just move around and, you know, not bother her. So like, when I would go in the kitchen, she would watch me. If I were going to the kitchen, she would come in the kitchen as well. Wherever I was in the house, she would be there. It, like, just, I'm talking about the living room and the kitchen, not the bathroom, of course. But, like, she always had to see what I was doing. Like, and I don't, I don't understand that. Like, I could go to the kitchen and get some, I could go to the kitchen and get some yogurt. And, no, I would be, like, in the kitchen washing dishes. And she would literally come in the kitchen and get some yogurt. And I just be like, okay but she would only do it when i would come to the kitchen so like you know that wasn't no coincidence you only in the kitchen when i come to the kitchen I'm like, okay cool not a problem so then i started noticing like she would walk around naked and i'm not talking about with like you know have dressed like she would dead ass be naked like This y'all place too, but she just gonna walk around naked like that? Like, I don't do that. I don't know, like, especially since we had just met each other, like, I don't I don't know her like this, so I'm not gonna walk around naked. And it would make me uncomfortable because like I told y'all, when I would be in any part of the house that's not my room, she would be around me. So you not only you being around me all the time, you being around me half naked. And it's just like, that's not my cup of tea. And I didn't like when, like, I'd be in the kitchen, like, you been up with your booty all out, like. <sighs> you can do that when I'm not in there, you know? And I'm not saying, you know, you gotta be fully clothed, but, like, that's just kind of weird to walk around naked around somebody you really don't know. So, not only did she walk around naked, my mama came within, like, two weeks of me moving in. 
And, my, and she always like, maybe she'll wear like bras and stuff, but like, tell me why when my mama came, she had on nothing but just her underwear. And I promise y'all, I am not lying about this. This girl had on no bra, and she just had on her underwear, and she had on a little gown that was like, it had like little holes in it. So you could see, and it's just like, you really gonna walk around my mama like this? Like, my mama? And then, like, me and my mama, we, and, we like, pulling up groceries and stuff. And you bending over in the icebox getting yogurt half naked. And it's just like, sis, come on now. Like, what? Well, really? So, like, that just made me really uncomfortable. And it's like, why would you do that? But, I mean, it was her place, too. So, you know, I can't be like, you need to wear clothes all day. But that's just kind of weird. And that made me very uncomfortable. And then, like, my best friend is a dude. If y'all watch my previous videos, y'all know Jonathan. So Jonathan is my boy best friend, right? Now keep in mind, I told y'all like she always kept her door open or like if I had company, she would literally open her door. I'm not lying about none of this y'all. So when Jonathan would come around, she would literally peek around the door just to see. No, when I had any company, she would peek around the door just to see who was, you know, coming to my house. And I'm just like, and I'm not even the type of person to like, you know, have just company all day, every day. So like, why are you, you know, why you gotta see everybody I bring in our house, weirdo? So she knew Jonathan would be there and she would walk out like half naked. And like the person that I am, when the dude around, I'm not gonna walk out in my bra and underwear. Like, you know, I'm gonna have on some shorts or a shirt. Like, I'm just, but that's just me though. Like I'll put on clothes when the dude come around. So like she purposely knew my best friend was there and she would just walk out naked like every time, not naked, but like walk out half clothes every time he would come. Like she wouldn't know he would come. And like, why would you do that? I just felt really uncomfortable there and I never had privacy. So by me saying I never had privacy, keep in mind, she kept the door open. So when I used to have friends over, she would see everybody who would come. Like she would open her door every single time I bring somebody else over. So one time I had my friend Alicia and Demetria over. No, Alicia and her roommate. So I was like, y'all. So I was like, y'all, watch this. I'm gonna leave my door open and she gonna come out and see who in my room. Just wait on it. So I kid you not, I left the door open and not even five minutes later. Okay, her door was closed, but she heard us come in, so she opened her door. So not even five minutes later, she come out her room, and my door is like, my door is like cracked. So she peek around, she's like, oh, I didn't know y'all was here. What? How you didn't know I was here? when you literally opened your door, when you heard me walk in. And then not only that, why is she peeking into my room? You see what I'm saying? Like I have no privacy. Like why would you peek into my room? Like why would you purposely come out, open your door when I get home, come out your room and peek into my room to see who I have in my room? Like that's weird. So, and I didn't like that. Like I just felt washed and uncomfortable. So, as, Time go by, y'all was probably there for a month, maybe. Like, I moved out so quick. So then, um, I start, she started cooking and stuff. She would cook in the whole house with smell. So it was something that she would cook. And then, not only that, she would not take out the trash. So the house would be stinking. Like, um, yeah, I'm sure everybody know how, like, nasty, dirty, old trash smell. She wouldn't take out the trash. And I would throw little hints like, hey, I think the house smelled because you need to take out the trash. So I had to like throw the hints and I'm just like, bro, whatever, anyways. So then she would cook and she would not wash her dishes. Dishes would legit sit in the sink for a week, a week, bro. I would be like, bro, you're not gonna wash them? And I'm not talking about one dish, two dish, three dishes, you know, a little bowl and some forks or something, no. Full pots, pans, cups, bowls, utensils, all of that just sitting in the sink. And I'm just like, that is so disgusting. Like, the type of person I am, I cook and clean right afterwards. Yeah, I have my days where I don't feel like instantly cleaning up right afterwards. But nonetheless, I always clean my dishes within, like, a day. Like, if I go to sleep at night and I'm cleaning dishes, I wake up and clean them. Like, because when you share in the space, 
you should do everything to keep your space clean. Like you shouldn't be nasty. And then we both two grown women, so why are you just being nasty? Or like, why, you know, would I have to tell you that you left your dishes in the sink or, you know, just little kids stuff. Like you grown, clean up after yourself. And then we sharing the space. So that was just ugh, gross. So then one time y'all, Mm, talking about this just like make me want to throw up the time of the month for her which we all have bro why is she oh, i'm gonna chill talking about this because it's just so gross and it's bringing up the memory i don't want to think about why one time when it was the time of the month for her she boo-booed and then girls you know what the toilet look like when you use the bathroom on that time of the month she did not flush the toilet she did not flush the toilet y'all i almost threw up like i hate seeing pete like oh, talking about it now makes me want to throw up like i hate seeing pete in the toilet so imagine me seeing your cycle your bowel movements and you didn't flush the toilet Y'all, that just, that, that set it off. I was like, bro, you is nasty. So, one day I was like, I would just talk to her about like, you know, her not washing the dishes and stuff, you know, and just ask her, cause she clean up after herself. So, and then like me, I hate like, you know, doing this stuff because I don't have to do it before, but like, I just hate doing this type of stuff for people because like you grown, I'm grown. I don't, I shouldn't have to, you know, tell you what to do. Like you grown, just clean up after yourself. I was like, okay, I'm all right, bet. I'm gonna talk to her. One day I had came home on both sides of the sink was full of dishes. I'm gonna show you, I got a picture too, hold on. If I find a picture, I just insert it like right here or something, but I'm gonna like going through my phone. So if I find it, I'll show y'all. But I had left for like a weekend. I had came back and both sides of the sink was full of dishes. Both sides of the sink full of dishes? Both sides of the sink? Come on now, bro. And they had them dishes. Okay, one side of the sink of dishes had been sitting there for an entire week. And I didn't say nothing to about it. And then the other side got full after a week. And she's still not washing the dishes. So I'm just like okay now like okay now like come on bro i was like i'm gonna just talk to her about it because that's gross and i don't want to live with nobody who's a nasty you know so i approached her and i was like hey can we talk i'm actually reading to y'all oh oh y'all i'm looking through my messages and back to the message about the trash i just found a message that i sent her i said hey i found out the smell from my place is actually coming from your trash so i was just going to take it out but something wasted in the trash as well causing smell so i just sit outside our door so that was one thing and then one day okay that was september 7th and then september 12th i asked hey do you mind cleaning out the shower so you know i'm being nice and then um one time i ain't gonna act like sit up here like i was just a cleaner's roommate but or nothing, but i never did no stuff like that and then one time she texted me and asked me can i take out the trash and then okay so now rewind i mean fast forward back so when i asked her to talk i said hey are you busy she said not really i guess what's up what she mean not really i guess anyways but i said can we talk real quick and she said sure so then I talked to her and I asked her, I was like, can you clean out your dishes, woo -de -woo, blah, blah, blah. She was like, I mean, I guess, like I was gonna do it, but I mean, I guess. And like, I can't remember all this cause this was September last year. So like, you know, this was almost a year ago, but like she had a whole attitude and y'all, I approached her nicely. I never came at her like crazy. I always approached people nicely and I never talked to her crazy. So like when I was trying to talk to her, she had a whole attitude and she was just talking about I me, mean, I guess like, what do you mean you guess? You're wrong. What do you, you guess you'll clean up your dishes? Like, come on, bro. So like, she had an attitude that entire day. I mean, she had an attitude after that. And bro, after, I get really mad when I try to come at somebody nicely and they give me an attitude. And then she was already nasty, weird, violating my space, always wash me. I was like, I'm gonna just ask my landlord, can I move? So I talked to my landlord she said i can move blah 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 and she was like my roommate had also had another previous problem you know 
she had also had a previous problem with her previous roommate. She, but she said her other roommate was nasty. And I was like, no, baby, it's this one. She nasty. So my landlord was like, yeah, I actually have a girl who just moved in at the back. And she needs a roommate, too. And she's, you know, she would be glad to have a roommate. She'd be glad to have a roommate because she's living at the back, which I told y'all is MDI one and two, which two is at the back, and it's it's nothing around MDI if y'all go back and look at my videos. And she's like, she'll be glad to have a roommate. So perfect, boom, I'll move you. And you heard the key, you're gonna be her with woo. So I was like, oh, thank God I'm done dealing with her. So in conclusion, Mia was just very weird. Like, Mia was weird she like always watched me and like i can't even tell y'all everything because i really don't remember everything but this is what i do remember oh and also like she if she would be like if i would come home and she would be asleep she would literally jump out her sleep and wake up just to say hey and it's just like that's weird like sweetie if you take a nap you know take your nap you don't gotta wake up just to tell me hey like i'm gonna see you later on throughout the day why would you know wake up from your nap and it's not like i open the door slam my bags down nothing. i'm just coming to the house regularly so she would literally wake up out her sleep just to tell me hey if i did anything she would wake up just to see what i was doing just like why are you leaving your door open all day just to watch me but i mean i guess so like eventually they just started becoming uncomfortable to me and yeah and one time, I remember like, I had came home and I was on home for, I had came home from class. So she heard me come home. She came out her room and she was sitting in the living room and I was in the kitchen. So I was in the kitchen, I think washing dishes and she decided to come out her room and sit on the couch. So she's sitting on the couch, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes, right? She just staring at me and I was just like, just washing dishes, you know, carrying on about my day. And she was like, so, and I was like, what? I literally said, what? I said, what? She was like, yeah, I'm about to catch the shuttle, the shuttle to go to school. And I was just like, okay, bye. Like, why are you telling me that? Why are you being like weird about it? Like, why are you saying I was still just being weird? I was just like, bye, why are you telling me? But she was watching me the whole time. And I was just like, girl, bye. What you telling me for? So then, okay, y'all. So before I moved out, like I literally had one of her plug in. I explained to y'all. Okay, so when I asked my landlord, can I move out? I moved out so quick. I moved out within a day. Moved everything from her to back there. So I just took everything and I didn't go through nothing. So I actually took one of her plug ins, but. I, I was just over her like she had made me mad once I tried to talk to her and be an adult so I was just over her and I was just I was like let me get out this house before I end up fighting this girl I had one of her plugins and I um I remember it and I was gonna bring it back to her but like I had just moved within a day literally the next day when I moved out she said hey did you mean to leave these oh I wasn't even done moving out she said hey did you mean to leave these canned goods here in a plug-in smell thing for the wall I know that smell inside was yours but did you take the plug in part and I said, I'm not moved out. So everything that's left there is meant to be left. And I responded to her about the plugins. I was just being petty. So then she said, okay, in the plugins, I said, I guess. <laughs> I said, I guess, you wanna be petty, baby? I guess. So she said, so you have them or, and she put a question mark. I said, I don't know, I'll check before I leave. And then she said, thank you, you can keep the scent, but I just wanted my actual plug in so I can put a scent. And I said, if I have anything of yours, I'll return it. She said, KK, thanks. So this was Friday, October 4th, but I, okay, I lied, I did not move out quick. She didn't move out quick, like it took me like probably three days to like total, probably to finish everything. So that was October 4th when she texted me that. So Sunday, October 6th, oh, I was in Dallas. That's what happened. I did move out. I was just in Dallas though. So she said, hey, did you ever find my plug-in? Cause I searched the apartment and it's not there. No, she said, it's not here. I said, if you know I had it and you can't find it, then that means I have it. As I told you, if I have anything of yours, I will return it before I leave. And I still clearly haven't moved out as I've been out of town since Friday. Please stop texting me about stuff that I've already addressed. I promise I don't want anything of yours. And when you sent that message, I was already gone. So I haven't been back to return. Like, baby, quit texting me. Like, stop texting me. 
She told me I was just reminding you just in case you forgot and she put like the emoji with the eyebrow lifted and I said I didn't. I'm not trying to keep anything that's not mine and I just hadn't been there to look and she didn't respond. So like why are you texting me about a plug-in? If I said I have something of yours I'll return it, then that means I'll return it. Don't text me. And you didn't want to be adult and talk when I was trying to talk to you, so don't text me about something petty. Like that was just a way of trying to have a conversation with me. So I, I was in feeling it, like stop talking to me. I would give you your stuff as I said I would, which I really didn't want a freaking plug in, y'all. Like you go to Walmart and get another one, so Anyways, I came back to Dallas and I said, and I, I went back to the house. I said, hurry up, plug in. <laughs> and I gave her her stuff back. And then, like, I had a few cleaning things under the sink and I was gathering them. Y'all, she is so weird. Why did she come in the kitchen and wash me? I'm getting the stuff from under the sink. So, the it's like the wall right here and, like, I'm right here and she, like, right there. So, like, I'm getting the stuff and she's just doing this. And I looked up and I said, And then she moved out my way. And then I was like, I'm gone, hurry your stuff, and I left. And she's like, well, bye, have a good semester. She said something like that, I don't remember, but I didn't care because I was ready to go. So I did, boom, and that was the end of that. I haven't talked to her since, and if I see her to this day, which I actually did not too long ago, still didn't talk to her. Like, she was just very weird. It made me very uncomfortable, and it's crazy. And it's crazy because I talked to my landlord, like me and my landlord was cool. And she told me that her other roommate after me moved out as well because Mia was weird. Mia, which is, you know, the roommate name I told you I was going to give her. So Mia did the same thing to another roommate. Like, okay, if you're doing that to me and another roommate, you're doing that on purpose because you want to live there, you know, by yourself. So she was doing that stuff on purpose. And like the other girl, she was ready to fight her. Like me, I was ready to fight her, but the other girl's ready to fight, fight her. And she was like, if you don't move me out there, something going to happen, you know? So like Mia was just weird and like she did this stuff on purpose because she really wanted to live alone I guess and so yeah Mia went through two roommates within one semester everybody moved out because of her so yeah never talked to her again don't really care to talk to her if I see her on the streets and that's the end of roommate number one so let's get into roommate number two Okay, so let's get into roommate number two. So roommate number two, I'm gonna just call her D. Okay, so let's start out with background facts. So I go to my new apartment and D is there. So I introduced myself to her and I told her, I was like, hey, I just, I'm moving in here. I had to move because my first roommate, we didn't really get along too much and she didn't really have the best type of cleaning habits, you know, so I'm just, I'm not trying to deal with that. So I'm going to be living back here. And she, and me, I mean, Dee was like, oh, I'm a knee freak. Once I get high, I'll probably start cleaning, just randomly cleaning up stuff, which that bitch was lying. She's like, oh, I'll probably just be cleaning up stuff, you know, when I get high, I got ADHD or something like that. Did she say, oh, no, she didn't say no. She for sure didn't say no OCD. <laughs> It's like, you're not going to have any problems with me. And I was like, do you, like, care about having company over? She's like, no, I'll be having friends over here and there and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's like, we good. Like, we going to be good. And I was like, okay, bet, bet. But D was a freshman, so. Freshman at Prairie View should not live on off campus. Y'all need to stay in a UC, okay? I need to live in a UC. Like, freshmen who live off campus are like, who don't live at university college like you have too much freedom so they have too much freedom so they just go crazy go crazy go crazy. Ah! <laughs> like they just go wild so like i feel that freshmen should stay in the university college because that builds you and you know like if you stay in the uc or you go to pv you know what the uc about like you can't really have that much company so i feel like it trains you and like it it helps you not come to college and just instantly be wild so like i actually glad i stayed in the uc and i I would prefer freshmen to stay in the UC as well. So, D, you know, me and her, we good at first, blah, blah, blah. We don't have no problems. So, y'all, keep in mind that D is a freshman. So, she used to being at home and not having as much freedom as she would have, you know, being alone at PB, living off campus, you know, not having to worry about no adults, you know, tell her what to do. So, me and D be good for like two months. And then I started noticing. D bring okay, so D had brought she had got kicked out of her other housing, right? Because she was gonna fight this girl, so she was only in her other housing for like the first month of school, but she got kicked out, so that's how she ended up living where we live. So 
so Dee brought over her friends who lived over at the other place and they was just talking about about that. It's like, are you a neat freak? I was like, no, I'm not a neat freak, but I mean like don't leave your dish in the sink for, you know, over a week or nothing. That is like, um, mm. but, but the thing is, I didn't know that they was being like, telling me that the bitch was nasty. Like, ask me about OCD or neat freak, you know, that's like doing the most, like when you wash the dish, you need to instant clean it, wipe out the whole sink and spray with bleach. That's what I mean, they're talking about. I'm like, no, I'm not a neat freak, but you know, just clean up after yourself. But no, they're trying to tell me the bitch was nasty. But I didn't know that. So anyways, back to the story. So they trying to tell me that D is nasty and I'm like not taking a hint. But either way go, like, what am I gonna do if I would've knew? Like I, I probably wouldn't have been able to move to another unit cause what am I gonna be able to do? So anyways, so back to the story. A couple months in, you know, D really not being nasty. She don't cook, so like she don't have no dish in the sink. And she eat out a lot, so you know it's just it's nothing really to mess up or get dirty because she don't cook or use dishes. So we was good on that at first. So then I started noticing D started having a lot of company, like she would just have a lot of company, and some it started to the point where it used to get uncomfortable to me because um so I didn't smoke, so she I just walk in our house, it'd be like six people in our house in the living room having a kickback basically and just hot box in our, our house and I'm just like sweetheart I don't even smoke why do you for so why do you even have all these people here hot box in our living room like if you want to smoke go to your room don't be up in here hot box in our living room so that used to bother me like at first she used to smoke outside but she just started smoking in our unit and that just used to really bother me so and then not only that I don't want to come home to, from school and see fucking six people in my house like and and I'm I promise y'all I am not over exaggerating like she used to have so many people in our house and it just got annoying like sometimes you want to take a nap and everybody's in the living room like you know playing loud as playing loud music and smoking when you're not a smoker and you know you want to chill so that used to just make me uncomfortable okay my bad y'all my camera died so if the angle seemed different on the light oops my camera died and took a pop took a break but anyways back to what i was saying so she used to bring a lot of people over and they used to do like freaking kickbacks and all that and be in our living room and hot box and like why are you hot box in our living room i don't even smoke for one for two that's just like an in inconvenience or that's really just inconsiderate because like i wouldn't do anything you know that would make my room uncomfortable or like i would just smoke in my room you know something like that not have a fucking party in the living room you know especially on school night i'll never forget it was one day where i came home from class and it was like i kid y'all not it had to be at least eight people in our living room and then they used to annoy me because they used to block our door so like if i'm trying to get in it'll be somebody sitting in the bar stool by our door like go home go somewhere else why are y'all here at our place and our place been a little, you know a little hangout spot the little hot box spot so i was just like yeah whatever so then like not only that she would have a lot of dudes over and wouldn't even like warn me like for homecoming if y'all don't know pb homecoming is very popular so she was like oh my brother's coming down here from dallas and you know i didn't think she was gonna let them stay at our place i'm thinking that the brother's just coming from dallas so yeah i kid y'all now i walk in it's six dudes no over no over exaggeration six dudes and she let them all stay there at our place did not discuss this with me dudes sleeping on the couch on the floor did not discuss this with me like i ain't gonna lie it was cool so like afterwards i got over but like i was like be you're not gonna tell me you just gonna allow these dudes to come spend a night at our house and sleep in our living room and all over the floor like it's a room full of niggas that i do not know and you're not gonna tell me like that's just an inconvenience and inconsiderate so like that kind of did bother me but then like i kind of got over it because that was cool and like they didn't they didn't like bother me so i happen to be all right but like i was just like that you know that was just really crazy but it don't matter because she did that all the time so that was just the beginning y'all i kid y'all not i had one day i had went somewhere and i came back and there was a dude in my house no you know that ain't my business so i don't care if she bring over but the dude was there for a week 
And I'm just like, whatever, bro. It's whatever. But then he started answering our door and stuff. And I'm just like, that, like, bro, you don't live here. Don't answer the door. But, alright. So, y'all, why I had, I had went to Atlanta in January or February. Can't remember. I had went to Atlanta and I had came home, y'all. Why this dude have all his shoes and clothes laid out in our living room? As soon as you walk in, you see all that. Like, I'm going a, I'm to a insert pictures all over the screen. But, y'all, this boy had his stuff all in our living room. Shoes at the door. Like, he freaking lived there. Weed all on the counter. Money on the counter. Like, like. This is not your house. This is not your house to be doing that. So I was just like, I said, I don't know, bro. Like, this is crazy. So like, I told my landlord, because I, I don't feel like grown people need to really talk about this. Like, you know what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. Why you got dudes leaving their stuff all in our living room and stuff all over the place like they live here? Like, especially weed and stuff just all in our living room. Like, keep that in your room, not in our shared living room. So, that was another thing. And then, another time, she let these two dudes come from Dallas and, like, I got home and one of, her, one of the dudes and the girl was in our bathroom and I had the pee, so I knocked on the door. And they talking about what's up. This is not your house. Get out of our bathroom. Like, why why do I have to knock on our bathroom though and ask to use the bathroom in my own place? Like, this is not your bathroom. Get out. Like, come on. So that made me mad. So I just looked at him and then she she said when I she like blah blah blah. Get out the bathroom. She's in the bathroom. Like, it's not your house for you to be talking about what's up. Like, get out of my bathroom. And then not only that, I had just cleaned up the house because she never cleaned up. So I had just cleaned up the bathroom and she would let them, like, that boy was in there smoking in our bathroom and, like, they had ash everywhere. And that's just so disrespectful to me. Like, I cleaned up this house. You don't clean up nothing. Not only that, you let other people come in our house and mess it up. Like, that's just so gross to me. Like, ash and for it, that is the top tier that just irritates me. Like, that's just disrespectful. So, once I had went in the bathroom I, and I said, I was like, bro, you ain't gonna have to clean it up. She's like, and then she was like, what? And she went there and she looked. And then she's like, oh, that's just ash. It's nasty. I don't care what it is. It's nasty. I cleaned up the bathroom. So why would you let them make a mess and not make nobody clean up nothing? So, like, that was annoying. And then it would be school nights where, like, she would have, like, basically kickbacks in our living room. Like, one time she had, like, seven people in our living room. And it was 1 o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday. And they was playing music. Okay, in the living room, I can hear everything. Now, my room next door to the living room, so I can hear everything. But when she in her room, like, I really couldn't hear stuff. But when she was in her living room, I could hear everything. And, like, both of us would be playing music, but, like, we'd be in our room. Or, like, if we both want to listen to music, we'd play in the living room. But, like, when we in our room, you can't hear that. So, it was 1 o'clock in the morning, and I was like, Dad, can you please, like, why are you having a party at this time at night? And she was just like, we'll cut the music down. What you mean you'll cut it down? Why wouldn't you cut it out? It is a school night. Like, that's inconsiderate. Like, I would never do this to her. So, like, and she, like, I was like, bro, come on. And then she, so I had texted her about that. Oh, okay. So, we had talked about that. But before that had happened, y'all, I forgot to say this. My niece passed away in February, so while I'm in Dallas, okay, my bad, my bad, let me give y'all a back story. Okay, so I thought Mia from the last place was weird and I never locked my door, so I just kept a camera in my room, you know, just to be safe. So I brought that same camera from my other place to my new room. So I had a camera in my room and my landlord didn't give me a lock to this empty out two room. So I kept my same camera in my room and I get notifications when somebody comes to my place, blah, blah, blah. So y'all, while I'm in Dallas burying my niece, this bitch lets a dude come to our, no, she let like two, three, four dudes come over while I'm not there, which none of my business. But y'all, why wouldn't dudes go to sleep in my bed? <laughs> like, so 
So it's like three o'clock in the morning and I was I was of course sad, so like I wasn't worried about my phone. It's like three o'clock in the morning and I get a notif I wake up at eight o'clock and I see a notification from like my camera and I'm just I'm like kinda ignoring that and then I thought about it, I was like, wait, I'm not at home. Let me check that. So y'all I check it not like I said, I put everything right here. Y'all, this dude is in my room and like he just do not care. So like I call her and I'm like, bro, who at our house? And she's like, Oh, this and that and I said why did they go in my room? Oh, and then the dude cut my camera off, so I really couldn't see no more after like he had did what he did. So I call her and I'm like, show me my room, cause I think somebody done stole from me. So she showed me the room, and then she said, but now she's like, uh, get out of her bed. And he's like, my bad girl, he was sleeping in here. And I'm just like, at that point, I'm fired and married because not only is you disrespectful, you not watching your company, and you let somebody sleep in my bed while I'm in Dallas trying to bury a family member. Like, could you really get any more disrespectful? So, at that point, I was fighting mad. And, like, my mom was like, you want me to drive in there with my friend? You know, we can go up there, blah, blah, blah. I was like, nah, mama. I'm just, I'm just go down there and handle it by myself. So I was like, I'm right on. So after she had told the buddy to get out of my bed, like, y'all, my camera good. Like, I can hear from my camera. I can speak from my camera. Like, my camera's A1. So, like, after she had told him to get out of my room, blah, 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 they was talking mess. And so he had, he, so another dude had went in my room. I said, I said, bro, he gonna go on my stuff too? And let me, I can read the messages. So, oh, so when the first boy uh, was in my room, I sent her a message. I sent her this thing right here. So, like, if y'all can see that, I'll just enter the picture. And I said, and I, after I had talked to her, I said, he clearly seen I was in my room, so why was he in there? She said, I have no clue, but I would definitely get on him. Because at that time, I had went to sleep. I didn't know he had went back in there. Rumi, I apologize. I would, oh, I apologize. I would check it because he violated your space. And then I, called, I was like, bro, fix my camera. <laughs> and she was like, did I fix it right? I thought he went to the other house. I didn't know he was in your bed. So then, blah, blah, I didn't respond to that because I was already mad. So then, y'all, I get another notification of another person opening my door. So, you like, this is the dude opening my door. So I said, he, dang, is he going to go in there too? She said, they leave. And he said, my be, I didn't know he just did that either. So then he told me, tell your cry baby roommate. Ain't nobody going to go in her room. She got cameras watching niggas and shit. And I was just like... I, I said something out there. I ain't gonna read that on camera, but I said something. And then I said, then why would he up my door if he ain't going in there? And then she said they leaving now. After that, I was fed up. So my best friend, Jonathan, I was like, bro, Jonathan, go to my house right now. Go put a lock on my door, bro. Go buy the lock at Walmart. I need the money for it, blah, blah, blah. Like, I was livid. So I had Jonathan go to my house and put a lock on my door. And tell me why, y'all, she was like, they was leaving. And she lied. Like, they were still there, which that's fine if they were still there. Just stay out of my room. That's all I wanted. So they were still there. And um, I didn't tell her that Jonathan was coming to put a lock on my door. I just told him to do it because I don't have to tell her that. So Jonathan knocked on the door and my friend, Jonathan is real friendly. Don't bother nobody, nothing, blah, blah, blah. So Jonathan knocked on the door and then they just looked at him and they was like, hey, you know him? And then they was like, nah. And then he's like, I'm here for Nia. And they was like, oh, okay. So then he walked past and then they was like, oh, because he's going to put the gun to him. And that like pissed me off because I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Y'all do not live here to be doing this. Like, how are y'all going to come, like, how are y'all going to come to somebody else's face and say you almost put a gun to them because you didn't know somebody who knocked on the door. Turn it in the beat on this one. Oh, open the door. He literally just knocked on the door, you know, just put the thing on it. So I'm like, bro, who do they think they is? And then it's like, y'all just saying this about somebody when you never know what somebody you know, what's somebody packing, you know, what if that would have went another way? Cause like Jonathan, to each his own, everybody, you know, can care what they want to care. But like, what if they would have said that Jonathan would have pulled out his gun, you know, and that would have went a whole nother different way. And then I'm not there and then that's her company, you know, I just felt like they was out of line. So like, you always bringing dudes like, and there was another time where one of the Jews, he had said he had his gun on him and blah, blah, blah. And he, you know, if anybody tries something, I'm like, why are you coming to our house, like, announcing this stuff? Like, you have a gun, cool, babe. But you don't, you don't need to constantly announce that you have guns and stuff. Like, I don't like how she bring, like, people around our house, like, openly just, you know, ready to do stuff like that. 
and like just make it seem like you know that they the men of the house and y'all nobody help pay bills here nobody helps pay bills there except for me and her so you know they want to do this and that and answer people door they spend some money on these bills then and y'all want to be threatening people so like that whole situation just to settle well with me and like i was really fighting man but my mom's like oh don't fight her you're gonna get kicked out of school so i never put my hands on her but it's just one day but i was just y'all i was so mad and like it was multiple times but i just never put my hands on her because i'm like you know i don't want to get kicked out of school or do this and that like i actually have something going for myself like she more worried about a dude than school and you know like this is her life you know i have something going for myself so let me not put my hands on this girl um oh yeah it was just it was just kind of annoying like yeah and then like she would let people borrow my stuff like one time she let this girl borrow my hair dryer and i'm just like yeah, I learned my lesson a long time ago in freshman year. Do not let people borrow stuff because they most, like, eight times out of ten, they're not going to give it back. So, I stopped letting people borrow my stuff. So, she would let this girl borrow my hair dryer. She would let our next door neighbor borrow our mop and stuff. And it's like, that's cool if you ask me. So, like, if I'm trying to clean up, I can't even find a mop because she's letting people borrow our stuff. And then, like, she let this boy borrow our Fabuloso, which, how you borrow Fabuloso? Because you're going to use it. You're not going to be able to get it back. Like, come on now. He used, it was the big bottle of Fabuloso because I love Fabuloso. He used up all of our Fabuloso and he did not replace that. So, like, I was like, bro, I told her, too. I was like, don't let people borrow my stuff no more because I don't, I don't let people borrow my stuff. So, if it's not yours, please do not touch my stuff. So, like, she was just a whole headache in total. Like, it was just... It just was not it, y'all. Like, I really hated her. And, like, she was so nasty. She was just, she was nasty. Just as nasty as the first roommate. It's, like, just as nasty. So, she didn't clean up her dishes. And then one time, y'all, I don't know. Oh, she had smoke. And our landlord was going to come. So, y'all, why freaking put some water in the pot or did something she melted a freaking counter on the stove like who does that so the freaking counter pops everywhere and there's some wax everywhere y'all she never cleaned that up and the wax went everywhere and i'm just like you gotta be such a freaking idiot like why would you do that and then she lost her key to the house so like she'd be climbing in our window so y'all our blouse was towed up and busted and like with me i literally hate that so like she would just climb through the window and mess up the blinds and then you know we're gonna get charged for that so she was just she was just not it like she was the worst like she was worse than and it just was not it so yeah and like that day when she let somebody sleep in my room like i confronted her and i told her about it and i was mad like i'm a big person like, i try to talk stuff talk stuff out you know and then rather just hit people sorry if y'all hear people in the background i don't know i guess the was really thin so like i actually tried to talk to her you know and be adult about it and i was like you know that's real inconsiderate you letting somebody sleep in my bed i was like me you always have your company over at any time of the night being loud in the living room like i don't care what you do in your room but when you have people up in the living room waking me up at two o'clock in the morning on a school night that becomes a problem for me and then I let her know how it's nasty. You let people come over and don't clean up. And then you don't clean up. Like, I just talked about everything. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. We do. I do better. This and that. And, like, I thought she was going to change out of that. But she but she never did. But she never did. Like, she was the exact same after I talked. And I was like, bro, I'm ready for her to move. Like, I was just over it.